hello guys and welcome back to my channel and on today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you four different ways in which you can make your petal your 3d petals now they have been seeing just one pattern people are using but they're actually seven or eight if not more patterns you can make your petals so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you four ways you can make your petal so please if you have not subscribed subscribe like share with your sewing mate and also stay to the end because i know this video is a bit long than my previous video but they are detailed and that is the reason why they are long now without wasting much of your time let's get started so our first pattern we're going to be using we're going to be making use of our cup chains and our copper wire so now what i was showing i was actually counting how many i used for that one which is 10 for this size i made use of 10 like if you're counting the cup chains the rhinestones one by one 10 i just counted 10 of it that's what i use and now your copper wire it has to be longer than the 10 um cup chains you're making use of do you get my point it's actually longer than it so that you'll be able to wind or squeeze is it okay twist you be able to twist the end now i'm showing you, i just brought that a little at the beginning of it i didn't want it to be much but if you're actually going to add something on top of your petals then you definitely want to make it longer than this half inch a uh, quarter inch i used for my as the beginning of it now you're going you what you're what you'll be doing you just have to be passing the copper wire in those space in between each of those cup chains just space that is where you will be passing the copper wire now the first one you have to pass it twice so that it's going to be firm since it's the beginning of it and you're also going to do the same at the end of it as well so you see what i'm doing and i'm going to pass it round it's like making a twist then i'll bring it back to the next one did you see what i did there yes then i'll bring it out twist it to the other side and bring it out again now if you see the way i'm holding it now it's, very, it's much easy for me to be twisting it that way i don't know so if you're doing yours just try to use your two last finger to be placing it to place the cup chain in between it now it's like you making it straight now you know this is a copper wire and it's 0.5 mm and it's if you are not holding it firm is going to twist more than you are expecting it to twist so so me keeping my hand that is for me to like make it straight and it doesn't bend but even if it bend it can also structure it because this is a structured 3d petal now i've done the last one and i'm going to double the last one i didn't double it but later i doubled the ending of it and i'm going to go ahead and do the second one the same thing i did for the first one that is what i'll be doing for the second one and i'm going to double the beginning of it then i'm just going to be twisting passing the wire the copper wire around those space in between each of the cup chain do you get my point now you see i doubled it i doubled the ending of it as well now we have both um both cup chain being wired so what the next thing to do now is to join them together now like i'm doing so then you're going to twist twist it you get you twist it then you bring you bend it down this is what i'm doing because this is the starting now the reason why i'm bending it down just so that the copper wire is not going to show is because i don't have any intention of adding anything up of it like i said earlier if i was going to add maybe a pair or another bead or something i want to join it with something in front i will make the starting of the copper wire to be longer than it is so that i can be able to add something else on top of it or i could just add it before i started and uh, twisting the copper with the cup chain together so yeah what i was doing now is to i don't know if you get what i was explaining there but i'm trying to say that if i want to add i'll make that place longer now you can see i've done that and it's firm then i'm going to go ahead and do the down part of it i'm also going to twist the down part of it you see yeah i just noticed that i did not double the last part of one of those sculptures so i did so you, which is actually necessary you should do that so that it's going to be firm at the ending part of it and i'm going to twist it again 
like I'm doing so now our first 3d pattern is ready now you just have to shape it the way you want it to be you just have to shape it and place it at this point you can actually use your 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 plier to you know make those place to be fine so it doesn't come up the copper wire doesn't come up now this is too isn't it beautiful can you see what it's looking like now so i'm just going to go ahead and twist it two of them together and if i have done more this video is actually for just for you guys to have the concept of how to do it right so that is why i did not do more but if i have done more it's going to cluster around and it's going to have that full petal design you see what it looks like now so i'm just trying to arrange it and give it more structure which you do the way you want it to look like now this is looking very beautiful guys what do you think i and it's easy as well it does not require much you just what you just need is your copper wire and your cup chains yes you can also use those bigger cup chains like the one i used in my previous video you get yes you can use bigger ones and use a copper wire to give it structure so now our second pattern is the regular one which most people are very used to or that is common and you know some of you are, might be aware of it so it, i'm just i'm using my organza most people use the aquinoline which is the hostel and but since i'm using an organza i'm going to infuse it so that it's going to have weight to, to, with my hemming gum then i'll just place my paper on top of it and give it a press so it stick together the reason why i'm adding the paper which you know is so that it does not stick to my iron because my iron is <laughs> very frustrating when it keeps burning my dress is only god that is helping me so i'm always using paper whenever i'm iron always using paper whenever i'm ironing so after doing that you give it a good press so that those you, because it's visible you see those hemming gum once it has melted to a certain stage that you cannot see it visibly like it's not that obvious like it is now you're going to go ahead and create your pearl patterns like i have drawn it out so what i have to do is to cut it out then i'm going to place it on this crinoline to draft out the way i want it to look like now this is just the way i want it to look like remember or you if seen if you must have seen a video of, of this type before you can actually not just this one any petals you want to you 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 just have to shape it the way you want it to look like so now this is the shape i'm using for this so i'm just going to cut it out now the next thing we're also going to be using our copper wire of course um we're using our copper wire and what we'll be doing is to use our glue to infuse it on this now i'm using an e6000 now this is my favorite glue i know there are other glues who go and every other thing but i i will recommend this because i've used certain glues and this is the strongest and this is the oldest i don't know if any other one came before it but this is what i've been using for like years and it's thick and it's strong it's also like every other glue as well it's also invisible when you use it on your dress you get now if you're cutting a copper wire and for you a scissors like me please have a particular scissors you're using do not use your normal sewing scissors you're using to cut your fabric for if not it's going to damage it. that is so i have that big one for my cutting and every other thing for paper cutting and that so do not use your scissors for your fabric for this is going to damage it so now i'm just placing this at the center of it then i'm going to glue glue it to the fabric do you get my point i'm going to glue it to the fabric fabric and um this is almost finished i'm just trying to i'm just trying to make use of it completely before i open the new one i just got so now this is what it looks like then you can just press it and you can have water around it but i didn't have water because i was just trying to make this video to be fast and just touch your hand in water to make it so that your hands will not be sticking to the glue you get now this is what it looks like all set and good so i'm going to, i went ahead and i did the other four petals
so I am covering it with the remaining other petals I with the many organs that I have glued together you get now at this point you can either use it for using a lace or any fabric you're using if you want to use it to cover it up this is where you come with it now I'm just placing it on top of it because the glue is not yet strong so once I stick it together it was gluing with it and it was actually firm so there was no need for me to apply more hemming gum to it and iron it out now this is what it looks like I trimmed out the excess and just made it to look perfect and I went ahead with my lighter to just seal the edges because you know these are organza if you don't burn it or if you don't do this it's going to be losing out so I was just trying to avoid that now I'm just trying to embellish this one which I use my cup chains and I'm going to glue it using my E6000 glue as well just to stick it together and it's going to be firm. So you guys, so you know, this using cup chains to embellish your petals is not just the standard. You can just go creative and just add so many things to it. Like the first video on this on this video, like the starting introduction of it, that petal there, you can see how they use different bits just to bring light and beauty to it. You can also go ahead with your bees like I'm showing you here. This I'm actually using a twist stitch for this one. You can see I'm securing my thread to the fabric. You have to do that. Now I will not go detail into this because I have a video on it on how to bead your fabric, different stitches of beading. Now you check it out. I'm going to put a link on the description of this video so you go and check it out if you haven't done that. Now, so if you've gotten to this point again, I'm going to say, please subscribe, please like, share, and also put something. If you think there's something I've done wrong or I'm not getting it right, you can also make it known in the comment section because I'm also learning from you guys. That is why there's not just me coming up here and just speaking and talking and doing videos. I'm also going to be learning from you guys. And, and also there's something you think I should do as well. You can also drop it at the comment section and i'm going to go straight and give you an answer or whatever the case might be now i'm doing a twist stitch here whereby you go back to the previous one and take your bead you squeeze it out now our third one we are making this now this is small because this is just for this purpose for me to create this content do you get now you can make it bigger this one was not even complete because i the the, the cup chain i used was the one i cut previously i saw it and I'm like, ah, let me just use it to make this but it was so small and but this one i'm going to be using for illustration the copper is bigger though i'm still going to be using my highest bead to be four now this one now you put your first three beads like so Then you're going to find the middle of this copper wire with one of the beads. Just one. Can you see what I'm doing here? You can see I'm trying to look for the middle point with just one of the bead. Then I'm going to bend that place like so. Do you see that? I'm going to bend it just to know that that's is the center of this copper wire because i just want the two sides of the copper wire to be equal if not that was not really necessary then what you're going to do the other side that is having the one bead you're just going to pass the other copper the other side of the copper wire to inside those two beads like i'm doing so do you see making sure that that single one is still at maintaining its center position so that it's going to come out well now this is just it you see i'm still trying to maintain that center like so then you just give it a stretch then voila you see that 
okay i'm straightening it out because this copper wire if you've used it you've, if you have been using it you understand what i'm trying to do right you just always have to give it a stretch now i've done our first one and this is like 0 0.1 0 0.2 now we're going to go to three bits now we're going to three bits in either side of the copper wire then you take the other side and pass it through the three bits like so did you see that then you're going to draw it you're going to draw it then give it a press now once you do that it's going to look as if it's bulky but if you just press it it's going to stay on its lane you get now i'm going to the fourth one now this fourth one is going to be the highest i'm going to be doing for this tutorial but um it's not because that is where you should stop you can go five six seven now if you know that once as many as you go or as much as you go with the beads that would determine how wide the petal is going to look like right so my i'm stopping at the fourth one then i'm going to go back by three now did you see what i'm seeing look how it's looking now what i will do is that i'm going to press it inside did you see now it's just flat and smooth so now this is the fourth one so i'm going to go back to three it's like you're going to four you go back to three two and one now if you're going six you go to six then you come down to five four three you know do you, you get my point right i hope I'm, you understand what i'm trying to say oh my god sometimes i feel like i'm not relating to you guys well but i hope you get my point like that's what i'm trying to say right here with my hands i'm demonstrating that as much as you go that is how wide the petal is going to be but for this video i'm just going i'm just making the highest to be four so now this is the three and i'm going to pass the other side of the copper into the whole three of it remember you're passing it into into all the um, bits you're using for that um layer you get now i'm going to go to two this is the second I'm going to go to two beads back to two beads again then I'm going to pass the copper wire the other side of the copper wire into the two of it yeah I wanted to use one but like no 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 let me don't put it so like I wanted to do it like I started with the three but then I I I've I just thought no that is not going to work I have to pass it to the singular one like the last one has to be that now this is the second one then i'm going to go you give it a press of course you know this you you will be making use of your hands whereby you'll be adding pressure to it so that it's going to be flat now this is where this other one stopped did you see it stopped that so the, the copper was short i i made this i did the copper work and it was what i cut out so i decided to use it for it but i was thinking it was going to be enough but it wasn't so if you're making this please make the copper wire to be as long as possible and i cannot give you a measurement of what you're going to use if you want to do certain um certain layers except you want to do the calculation yourself but just make the copper wire to be as long as possible now this is our last one then you're going to give it a twist now did you see how good it's coming and it's looking small because it's four but it's small exactly i was just making telling you guys with my hand demonstration that if it's bigger it's going to be like can you see you can actually bend it to any shape you want your petal to look like now i just went ahead to put it in here because i felt like okay this could be a design as well putting it in between this other big one did you see and it came out so well but this other one is short i didn't know how i was going to fix it and i did not want it to waste so i had to losing open it out because it's two i open it out then i was trying to use those the remaining small space of the copper wire to pass in between those channels that we use the copper wire on the cup chains that is what i did to secure that is how i did it to secure it and it stayed and it was firm it did not move i was shaking it and it did not move this is looking beautiful now our last one for today or the last one i'm going to be showing you guys is this one now this one is what you just need is your net or soft material that stretches now this i what i have is just my 
skin color net and it's very soft so you need soft one and a material that can stretch do you get my point and this one i'm actually going to say that if you want to make use of this pattern that you use a um, copper wire that is stronger than this because this copper wire i use is 0.5 0 0.50 you should use the one point if you're doing this one so because it's stronger than this and that one is going to be firmer but this one works as well it's not like it's not going to work if this is what you have you can also work with it as well i've actually worked with it before um i will you can just work with this copper wire copper wire what am i trying to say do you get my point now you, you have to use the part that is stretchy you see what i did i was looking for the part you know your net there's a part that doesn't stretch and there's a part that stretch now it's the part that stretch you're going to be working with now you just have to put it with it do you see what i did at first i created the shape with the copper wire then i twist it down before i and use the material to cover it now you have to need you you make you need your thread you can use an invisible thread whatever thread you, are, you want to use so that i think invisible thread is preferable because it's invisible but for this video i'm just using this one just to show an illustration now you have to make sure it's tight enough then you tie it went ahead and i tied it so next you have to cut out the remainant of the net or whatever fabric you're using like i'm doing so you just have to cut and just remain a few pieces just small you can make it as small as possible do you get my point you can make it as small as possible people So as you can see here, I'm trying to create a shape out of it. Did you, did you see what I'm doing? Now you can make it to any shape you want at this point. So that is why I say that the, the, the material you're using, you have to make sure that it's very tight on it. If not, it's going to it's going to show excess in the material as you can see. Now this is what it's looking like. I've actually joined both of them together. You can do as much as you want so that it's going to have volume. As much as you want like you can put more petals do more of it then it's going to have more volume in it now this is the second one i'm just trying to show you guys the outcome of it you see we should be try this is beautiful right and it's easy now this is the previous one i've gone ahead to just join both of them together with my invisible thread of course i'm using an invisible thread because this is organza so that it does not show now so what i just did here was please do not mind my <laughs> container i'm using to put my bead i i i put my beads in this container wherever i'm um outside and i i just want a portable thing that's what but just omit that part so now i'm just trying to bead on this to show you that you can actually bead on this one do you get now because these are material this one and the organza one is material so you can actually bead on them and bring more light and shining to it so i'm just trying to cover it up just doing some little bit work on it so guys thank you very much for staying to the end of this video this is the finished look of how the four patterns are looking thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe like share with your sewing mates and remain super blessed until my next video bye for now